Okay. Pussy. Uh, so if you're one of the people complaining about the uh, episode not being on time, I explain why it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Do people think you were lying? Yeah. I think it was on the news. <laughs> it was it? Yeah. It was I, a like, real lo- thing. I looked it up, yeah. Or there were like people tweeting about it. Like, my mother is stuck on an Amtrak right now that just... They just reinstalled a, an engine <laughs> and then it broke down. Like on yeah, yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it, the train got fucked up in uh, Havre de Grace. Damn, dude, the Ironic. curse, mm-hmm. the curse of Tom Myers, yeah. dude. The only thing that would make it better would be if the conductor got on the PA and is like, "I'm sorry, but uh, we're having engine trouble. It seems someone tried to charge their Samsung <laughs> Galaxy." <I say. laughs> Dude, I'm I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know a single person, including Ian, who's been as fucked over by the Amtrak Corporation. <laughs> well, and it's I, I, and it, they oversell tickets. They yeah, don't yeah. even check to make they don't have any system really? in place. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's like every seat was filled, and then there was people like doubling up in the cafe car, and it's like you shouldn't sell cafe car seats. Right, these right, tickets. right, right. It's a cafeteria. Yeah, yeah. So I I was in the cafe car the whole time. Really? Yeah. Damn, brother. And. Uh, the woman staffed in the cafe car, just a total, that's not my job. Yeah. <laughs> Literally said, that's not my job. Did they run job. out of food? They did run out of food, yeah. Yeah, that happened to me on a flight once. Um, they ran out of food, and then it was like a seven-hour, it's like a four-hour delay, so seven-hour train ride total. And to make it up to Jesus. everybody, they gave away free snack packs, which is like an individual <laughs> raspberry <laughs> chessman, <laughs> and then like four <laughs> peanuts. Jesus. Um, well, we don't like want to just mini we, water bottle. Yeah, but yeah, no, because the lady next to me, she was like, uh, or across to me, she was like, uh, "Is there? Any, can you turn down the air conditioning in this car?" She was like, "She's like, you can move to one of the other cars if you like." She's like, "There's no seats. Is, can you turn down the air conditioning in this car? It's freezing cold. There's no reason for it to be this cold." And then the woman goes, uh, "Well, if we turn it down, it would get pretty hot in here." And then she realized that, like, that's not the answer that's going to end this problem. Right, and right, she goes, right. also, the controls are underneath the train, so we have no <laughs> Underneath the train. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go. <laughs> like, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, that makes, oh, that's, no. that's probably where they put the controls for the air conditioning <laughs> underneath the train. I have to fucking put a bungee cord on like it's Fast and Furious. Right. Yeah, <laughs> like the end of speed. Yeah, you gotta get on a fucking... <laughs> Damn. That fucking rules. I love the fucking fake-ass answers lazy motherfuckers uh, give you. Yeah. Just to not have to do shit. Right. God damn. I was on a Megabus once that broke down on 95, and uh, this dude... Uh, we, we were all stopped on the side of the highway waiting. For, there, they sent another Megabus. We were like, there for like an hour and a half. And there's this dude um, with like dreads and like like big like Prada sunglasses. And he was having his mom take selfies of him like on like standing on rocks like next to nature and stuff. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, I was just like staring at this dude. Like, <laughs> he took the really time for funny. the photo shoot. Yeah, he's like, well, might as well now that I'm on the side of I-95. Yeah, but, there was a mega bus that caught fire, and there was like a, some Twitter journalist that was on the bus. Fuck, <laughs> it was yeah. like a nightmare for mega bus. Yeah, because he was like tweeting pictures of the that bus on fire. Rules <laughs> <laughs> on fire. Yeah. <laughs> What's well, what happened to us? They were like the the, the train kept stopping. It kept uh-huh. like running out of power, and they were like. uh Something's wrong with the engine. We're going to switch it. We just need to get to Philadelphia, and we can switch it. Uh-huh. So it took, like, four hours to get to Philadelphia. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. And then uh, it was, they switched the engines, and then we got maybe 30 feet outside of the station, and, like, there was this burning smell. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, oh, the, the smell you are currently <laughs> experiencing is the smell of the brake system. Which, uh, the simple fact that the engine... <laughs> it was lady from the cafe car. Yeah, it features a technology <laughs> that... Uh, it, it, w- it, what I'm trying to explain to you is... Yeah. Um, Jesus. Were there other Amtraks, like, passing you guys? The whole time, yeah. That's got to be so Jesus. painful. I mean, right. I didn't care. I had, you know, I had my stories. You, you had know? your choo-choo. Yeah, I had I had things to what occupy What were you doing to with? occupy yourself with? Chewing gum. <laughs> 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 Reading the Wrigley wrapper. Yeah, my thing is like, it's such an expensive trip, and I know if you hit two hours delay, then it's free. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. once it was past like an hour delay, I'm like, fingers crossed, this thing 
and value. Once it, yeah, once it fucking goes past that, it's like sweet. Nice. You know, because now I can ride the train three more times. Yeah. For free. <laughs> Is that how much money you get? Well, it's a hundred eighty-five dollar ticket for a Sunday ticket. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I mean, a regular. I mean, you can go to Philly for like fifty-five bucks. Yeah. Like, if you book it even a week in advance. Yeah. It's nice, dude. The Riding train is the nice, except this shit happens all the time with the train. That it's it's either the best ride of all time or your fucking shit is on fire, <laughs> and it's like some fucking dumb bitch won't let you get won't yeah. turn the air conditioning down. Well, that's what happens when you let the state control something. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's right. You know, we do. That's need why you. we can't have universal health care because it's going to be a bunch of that's not my jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Running everything. That's not Excuse my job. We ran out of medicine. We got mini pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> but I have cancer. Sir, all we have is mini pretzels. How many times do I have to tell you? It's like, uh, Sharice, we, we also have honey roasted peanuts. No one told me that. <laughs> this is not my job. <laughs> it's literally your job. <laughs> you, your job is the cafeteria car attendant it's your job to sell food no it is not <laughs> i love when uh they're caught in a lie my manager used to do this shit all the time at sharon williams she would just like one there was like times where she just didn't feel like selling the paint that someone wanted yeah and they were like uh and she was like oh we're actually out of uh that we're out of whatever you know whatever yeah, it was yeah. like promar 200 or whatever she's like he's like oh really because um i just had the store call you specifically uh, to see if you had this exact thing and she was like let me check in the back real quick <laughs> and then it's yeah. just like <laughs> she just has to like be like oh my god just like it was that you 100 percent had it yeah. you could have had it and she was just like oh wow i can't believe it i found some extra in the back that shit i don't mind though that's a pain store it's not a bunch of people trapped on a train for hours <laughs> on end. I mean, you got to be a real piece of shit to be that's not my job and people when they're just stuck. A four hour delay yeah it's like People, the power was out, yeah. and people were like, can we get water at least? And she's like, I can't ring you up if there's no power. Are you kidding? Yeah, and that then they're rules. like, can I just give you cash? And that's where she said, that's not my that's not my job. To take cash? That's to take cash, currency? It's the cash the registers. <laughs> it's the cash registers job. Yeah, it's true. And it's like, you know, automation is bad or whatever, but like that's someone that should be automated. Um, a robot should 100% have a mm-hmm. job. As long as we can put big ass nails, she should be, long ass nails on robots. Yeah, I got she should be at, at, at home looking through Indeed.com, going, "That's not my job. That's not my job. That's not my job." And the landlord's like, "You need to pay rent." She's like, "That's not my job." And he's like, "You're right. It's my job. It's my job to collect the rent. And you're not doing your job." Uh, yeah. Uh, put some nails on the on yeah. those robots. There's put this, a fucking weave. This woman with like an, uh, a like short a to- one though, a toddler, and she's like walking around the train, and like she just looks exhausted. Mm-hmm. And she sits down in the that's not my job, ladies, like uh, booth, I guess. Yeah. And, and she lets the kid just sit on the table, and she's like from the other side of the car, like, "Ma'am, can I help you?" She's like, "What?" She's like, "Can I help you?" She's like, "No, I'm fine." She's like. Okay, well, he can't be playing with my paperwork. <laughs> She's like, he's not touching anything. I just yeah, need yeah. to sit down for a second. I've been carrying him for hours. She's like, all right, well, he better not be touching my paperwork. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. And she, like, made the woman get up, and then she's like... She's like, I just need to sit down. He's not touching the paperwork or whatever. She's like, well, I'll get in trouble if somebody touches my paperwork. It's oh like, my no, you won't. Not, you're not boss isn't going to look at the time cards and be like, did a baby touch yeah. this? <laughs> Why are there gush, little gusher yeah. fingerprints on this Why fucking was, time yeah, card? With the way this I'm, I'm holding this in my hands makes me think that an infant brushed past it at some point. <laughs> uh, you're fired. You're fired for allowing uh, a toddler to glance at your paperwork. <laughs> Did someone blow up the toilet? No, no. That happened. That happened to me. I was. Uh, I had a direct flight New York to L.A. and then they made an announcement midway through. They're like, "Yeah, we need to get gas in Denver." Uh huh. And I was like, "What the hell?" And then they did a system check, and they were like, "There's something wrong with the engine." And we were like in Denver on the tarmac for four hours. Yeah. And then some guy diarrhea'd all over the bathroom. Oh no! And well, somebody ran out of food. Somebody took a sh- oh, my somebody God. took a shit on a mega bus to Boston so bad one time they had to turn around and come back to New York. <laughs> 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 Yo, I almost, I almost ass out, fell out of the bathroom at a fucking mega bus because, or was it a fucking Amtrak? Because I was, you know, maybe I was a little heftier at the time, and I needed to do a specific, a specific stand up to wipe my ass maneuver, where I kind of get like the fucking. Uh, I always stand up to wipe my ass. Really, every time. Yeah, yeah. me too. I don't really? do that squatting thing that other people really? do. Really. 
I, I turn around, I face the toilet, and then I wipe my ass with my ass facing the yes. door. Yes, that's what I do. That way I know I make sure that the paper goes into the toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get enough, and but what I would have to do sometimes is get Captain Morgan with it, or yeah, Captain Morgan. Oh, you put one leg up. I put the one leg up yeah. on the toilet to get a real fucking, real wide spread of my cheeks. And there was some fucking, I guess not turbulence, but I literally hit the shit. And the door was unlocked, and I, just, I popped out for like a fucking second, and like you could see probably a corner of my ass cheek hit the fucking Amtrak hallway because I was just fucking, I was just fucking standing up to get that good, good fucking Captain Morgan clean. Damn. Yeah, I feel offended. Imagine like, how good it would have been in that train if just some fat guy with his ass out tumbles out of the back. I've never, I've never shit on a train or a bus or a plane. Never, never shit. Yeah, I've really? had because they don't seem times. like. I look at those toilets and it's like there's no way that thing can handle. Yeah, yeah they can't, shit, dude. It's yeah. not designed. Well, the mega bus is a bucket. It's yeah. a blue bucket. You see into it. It's a porta potty. There's no way my giant, powerful, Your big ass turds, protein turds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave a fucking pigskin in there. <laughs> I've gone number one. One, two, and three on mm-hmm. a plane. Mm-hmm. If you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, I know what you're saying. Jacking jacked off. off. Which uh, was it? A long plane ride? Yeah. <laughs> I would jack. I mean, off. I was at that. Age, I was going to summer camp, but I was at that age where you have to jack off every like you know mm-hmm. hour and a half. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I just got bored. Get the demon and inside I stole, you. I stole a club international porn from... Uh, Hell yeah. Oh, thanks, brother. Uh, yeah, from d- d- the d- Hudson News. D- my autism is mocked, but how about them laser checks? Yeah, really laser nice, Nick. Nice, and bro. you got the windows Window on the envelopes, envelope, so yeah. uh, we could see our names. I was really hoping I could pay my rent with these, but the USPS lost my first rent check, and now the landlord <laughs> wants me to use Venmo. <laughs> Your landlord lives downstairs, I thought. No, he lives no. in, like, Long Island. Oh, word. <laughs> Venmo seems like you could be able to fucking scam the government somehow with that shit. No, I think if you get enough money through Venmo, because it's owned by PayPal, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, you get enough money through Venmo, they'll send you, like, a, a thing that, you know. Hmm. Like, if you make, like, $20,000 right, through right, Venmo, right. obviously that's not, like, splitting yeah. pizza. <laughs> right, you can't, right, like, right, you can't right. sell Coke on Venmo. When I, bought, when I bought these weird dick pills off the internet, the... The uh, directions were, go to Venmo, go to this account, and put something, no one will know, <laughs> put something like pizza or dancing <laughs> lessons. <laughs> like that guy, yeah. Dancing lessons? <laughs> and I literally right. made him. <laughs> Yours is in the memo just says pizza or dancing lessons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fucking shady. Why don't you just put dick pill? Who's ashamed of that? Um, I think he didn't want people to know that he was selling wow. pharmaceuticals. Oh, oh. It was, I didn't give a fuck. You know what do they have in there? Like ground up, like I've never, I've never. Have you ever taken one of those? I've never taken one. I've taken a a Mexican Cialis before. Mm. That my that my friend got in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at a certain kind of party. Is it cool? Uh, I got a boner. Yeah, I was really drunk, and I wouldn't have gotten a boner otherwise. But Mm -hmm. I had it in my drawer for a while, and I was like, "Let's see if it works." Let's see. Let's give it a whirl. Yeah, you just by yourself. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I literally came on the ceiling. It was really cool. Yeah, I that's what I did in middle school in sixth grade when they give you condoms. I got a red condom you and I off. jacked off. Yeah, I, was I like, did that too. I was like, soon I'm gonna be using these all the time, <laughs> so I better get used to these. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I've done that too, and I didn't fuck for like literally like seven years. <laughs> <laughs> I've never jacked off into a condom. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. The cleanup, like cleanup was easier. Yeah. you know. I remember like one of the first times I had sex, like I didn't come. Like we had to like stop fucking or whatever, yeah. and I only had that one condom, so <laughs> oh, I no. took it off and I put it in my pocket. <laughs> oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> put it through the fucking wash, hung it up on the clothesline yeah, yeah, to yeah, dry. Yeah. <laughs> I like saved the condom for later. <laughs> Well, it's also they're like so hard to take off that you like stretch the fuck out of them, mm-hmm. trying yeah. to like I, yes. and I you don't snap it and it hits the end of your dick. Right, I don't yeah. know the proper way to take off a condom. It always feels like I'm about to rip my dick off. Yeah, I've never, I think you're I've never to roll, try to roll. Yeah, but then it the cum off. will fucking fall out. And shit. Yeah, and then you eat it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You're right. It's zero waste. <laughs> <laughs> it's green. Well, that's why. Oh, how about this? We get condoms made out of like. I don't know banana peels or like bean or some kind uh-huh. of organic matter. Then well, they have that. The the, it's uh, in, like intest, like in, isn't it? Like oh, a, you can make a sausage out of it. Yeah, sort of like <laughs> a sausage. You get lamb, casing. lamb. If you have a latex allergy, what are they? Oh, lamb skin. That's oh, what I guess is. that's yeah, true. yeah, yeah. So, could you use those to make sausage? Probably. Oh yeah, definitely. Nice. Yeah, there's a Mexican restaurant. So we get some. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, 
Yeah, yeah this is a condom in the, <laughs> in the chicharron as a game. <laughs> Somebody keep pulling a condom in it. Yeah, I no. don't know how to eat it. Please see yours. Stop <laughs> making me eat the condoms. It's organic. Yeah. Um, yeah. You've never jacked off on a plane or bus or anything? No, never. I j- I've jacked off while driving. Nice. Oh, uh, like on the highway. What, yeah, on the highway. That's pretty <laughs> cool. Yeah. I just wanted to do it. And that was mostly like, this is pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The danger zone. I yeah. was on a... Um, literally. That's what... Yes. Highway literally that, to. yes. We used to have a... Um, <laughs> that's what that song's about. <laughs> we used to have an, uh, a Ford Expedition, my parents, mm, and we nice. were on a family road trip. Oh, and I was in the back row, yes. and my mom and sister. You can't, you can't were drive to Israel from. <laughs> no, we were going to California. You can take the Jew tunnels under under uh, the ocean. Oh, you, Israel! Yeah. No, we have one of those. Uh, you know how at the bank, like when you put your the Hogwarts bank. Yeah, yeah, the, one of those. Uh, <laughs> Where they literally systems. are Jews. Yeah. That shit is so funny. <laughs> oh yeah, the Hogwarts, Harry Potter, the Grindelwald, the, the Gringotts. Yeah, Gringotts, they're just fucking yeah. elves with big ass noses. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, anytime you make a fictional character, it's like <laughs> racism is creativity. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you can cover up the racism if it's a monster. Right, right, yeah. right. You right, can right, say, right. oh, it's not Jewish. It's just a monster. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Star Trek is pretty much the only science fiction that avoided that, you know? I mean, That's true. They're, yeah. over, they're very woke, I feel like. Yeah, well, the, the alien species are like, you know, okay, we'll make them black, but then they're sort of Muslim also. <laughs> I don't know why you I did gotta, that. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta edit. I don't know why I did that. I think it's done it before, by the way. Yeah, actually, it has. Somebody messaged me and said that the Siri gave away your address. I'm gonna get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably will. Uh, but that's fine, dude. Yeah, I really don't know yeah, why that happened. <laughs> I would love. That's uh, that's on par with when Siri said, uh, "Oh my God, uh, you seem so certain." When I said that anti-Semitism <laughs> doesn't exist, yeah, that's that was so funny. Incre- that yeah. one was fucking wild. Yeah. Um, anyway, you're jacking off in this expedition with your. I sister. jacked off. Yeah, my sister your was sister sleeping, was sleeping in the middle on row, your shoulder, and then my my mom was sleeping in the mm-hmm. front front passenger. You're sitting right in between and your I was mom like, and your sister. I just sister. learned how to jack off. That was like early days, like nice. twelve or thirteen, and I I honked. In the car with my family. Wait, oh, yeah. where, where in the car were you? I was in the He's third in the row. row. I was the in the very like, back. Yeah. My sister something... was sleeping and my mom was sleeping. And my you could smell their hair? No, I just did it to my imagination. You know, like the imagination of a child. Did, did, you your, sister, but did your sister No, I didn't know. My sister did not. She was a small child. Oh, nice. And so don't say, nope, nope, nope. Her future <laughs> nope. breasts? <laughs> nope. No, I was not. Is that the imagination? <laughs> um, now... Were you doing like a small jerk? I've done that before. We'll do very <laughs> short jerks. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what I mean? So you don't go up and down. You just like, go down. Sort of like I was like, uh, yeah, I was aiming it down. Yeah, you I just think go I down. jizzed like on the carpet, like on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I've never jacked off in a car, but of course I've gotten a dome, dome and had sex. Um, I remember one time in Baltimore, uh, I was just in outside of, fuck, what's that place called? Jail. I was outside. I was outside of a um, Baltimore Baltimore County. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I was outside of some shitty bar that's like prohibition themed in Baltimore or whatever. Ooh. Uh, and um, that's how, those are the worst kinds. Of oh, yeah, yeah. In, in Baltimore, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. In Baltimore, they're particularly it's like the bad. Great Gatsby in this bar. Um, and I was just I was in the passenger seat, uh, getting my dick ridden like a champion, and. Uh, uh, I thought I was like in a fucking very like, just like a fucking secluded ass spot, but it turned out like the building next to us was a bar that was just like there was some event that just had let out and just like seven people just like fucking watched wa- walked by and just saw yeah. this girl's butt cheeks and then just saw me and I was, we were just I just had to like wave at him and we had to just mm-hmm. stop and I was getting my fucking I couldn't even stay that hard I I didn't really like the being outside, honestly. Oh, really? That is my shit, dude. Really? Being outside? Uh, yeah, I love that. Well, you fucked in Rock Creek Park. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to that Chinese girl from <laughs> Tinder. <laughs> that made you get different jeans. <laughs> you, didn't you have to get Tito's jeans? No, I forgot. I was hosting at the DC Improv, and I was on my way to the show wearing basketball shorts. I was like, fuck. What? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that I, you can't wear basketball shorts on stage. So I had to borrow Tito's pants. 
<laughs> yeah. um, no, that girl didn't make me put on nice pants to fuck her <laughs> next to the highway. <laughs> no, no, I thought you got them dirty <laughs> fucking her. Oh, no, no, no. No? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's what I thought was happening. No, I, mean, <laughs> that would be I so funny. I got, like, I got them dirty, yeah. And I think she, like, either, she, I mean, she, like, bled yeah. a lot, too. So there's, like, just <laughs> blood all over my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Please put on your finest chinos to fuck my ass in this fucking dumpster. <laughs> yeah. When I was uh, at summer camp, my friend uh, asked our counselor. My, our counselor had a Rage Against the Machine T-shirt, mm-hmm. and he asked our counselor if he could borrow it for the dance, like the end of the summer dance. And he had a wet dream that night and blasted all over his <laughs> <fridges. laughs> And he gave it back to our counselor. With cum all over? Yeah, he just like jizzed all over our counselor's t-shirt. He's like, yeah, anyway, it's been a great summer. Here's your oh Rage my Against the Machine t-shirt. That's so funny. Did I ever tell so you guys funny. about the wet dream I had that was like, I swear to God, like someone implanted. I had never touched the pussy, but yeah. after this wet dream... I knew what pussy felt like. Yeah, I had the same thing. I remember having like a, a, a sex dream when I was like 12 that mm-hmm. I was like eating my friend's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I knew what it tasted like. I'm like, that pussy can't taste like that. And then years later, you it was like, like holy Whoa. shit. How did well, I know? The aliens, That sounds dude. like a suppressed. That's probably. That, no, it's not a suppressed. Yeah, that's, no, a no. He was not molested <laughs> by a woman. Right. Well, yeah, this. what do you think <laughs> <laughs> fucking happened? A woman maybe a woman eat her eight, pussy. Seven year old Nick eating his Stupid pussy. retard. You even, you said I think it, that'd it, be pretty cool. You're saying it in jest cool. trying to insult me, but yeah, it would be cool. That's not <laughs> even like, I, I, I'm not, I was yeah. not insulting oh, you. Oh, it's a repressed memory from when he had sex from with From when you were a pimp, woman. dude. From when yeah. you were a little pimp. No, I think it's just, you know, it's like, uh, you know, you ever like, you ever like roll up a newspaper in front of a dog and it goes in cowers, even if you've never hit the dog? Yeah. Mm. It's, you know, it's just one of those things where mm-hmm. your, your body knows. No, I think an inherited trauma. No, no, no. Here's what I I think you know how aliens told the ancient Egyptians how to mm-hmm. build pyramids. Yeah, I think aliens were telling us what pussy mm-hmm. tasted and felt like. The aliens also did the Holocaust, didn't yep. they? According to the History Channel, yeah, really? they did. Yeah, they yeah. did the Nazis. Nazi aliens. They, they, they made up the Nazis. <laughs> Nazis. Oh, yeah. so Nazis are anti. Well, it's sort of like aliens are anti. Even though I wasn't alive during the Holocaust. I had ancestors that were, mm. so you should treat me as technically a survivor because I inherited those traumas. Oh, so you mean so like a sexual harasser? Like no, Eli I Rousseau? don't think, no, yeah. you should treat me as, <laughs> so should, as a brave... Report him. You should treat me as a brave <laughs> Holocaust survivor. <laughs> nah, dude, you would have gotten You guys should so marvel quick. at my bravery. Adam, you would have gotten got quick as hell. In the Holocaust? Oh, yeah. Oh, I no, like that I'm bit sneaky. we did where it's Adam and Anne Frank's secret annex and the Nazis are searching the house downstairs oh. and one of them... <laughs> Starts telling an anecdote, and Adam's like, I actually... Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Interrupted? <laughs> yeah, I'd get, a, I'd get her caught with a tidbit. <laughs> Dude, I would... Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't be able to... I bet I you Anne Frank would have smashed in the woods. That would have oh, been her for thing. Sure. Anne Frank, uh, didn't she get her period in that book or something? Or she yeah. masturbated? She was horny, yeah. She, she was a horny, horny little slut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anne Frank seems pretty cool, honestly. That's they said they I found looked it. a lot like me. <laughs> if I lived in Amsterdam during the Holocaust, I would have fucked all those girls hiding in secret rooms. No room. way, dude. I, that's, I just feel like I would have done that. I would have been I fucking... I would have gone around and, uh, fucking all the hidden I women. Wish I, was, I wish I was there, man. I would have been stoned. Not to stop the Nazis, oh, but no. to fuck just, all the Jewish girls hiding <laughs> in attics. <laughs> just smoke yeah, all that dude. premium think about, ganja. Think about how, like, yeah, just low stakes that is. Yep. You know, you, fu- you go fuck them, you don't ever have to see them again. Go to the Heineken factory. Mm-hmm. dog every time. Yeah, you're, they're hidden behind the bookcase or something, yep. you know? Yeah, that's, that's perfect. That would be cool. Yeah, that, that would that'd be, be some. They're, some they're easy. secretly trying to dedicate songs to you on resistance radio. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did they say got her caught? It was a cigarette. Someone sparked a sparked a cig Swift or something. Dupe. I thought it was like the sound of the pocket change. <laughs> That's no. what I remember. <laughs> I think that they were searching the apartment. And they it smelled someone... a cig, and it was someone in the attic. Someone like heard an abacus stuff. being yeah, used. Truth dot com. Maybe that's not true. That'd be a good. That'd be a cool. Truth dot com. Don't smell cigs because the Nazis. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just tell your little sister you died in the Holocaust because you're too busy smoking weed. <laughs> yeah, it was actually truffles in Amsterdam. The legal mushrooms they got over there. I'm trying to go to Amsterdam again, dude. Yeah. You went already with I'm about, George. I'm, I'm thinking about going on a vacation. You should. I want to go to Morocco. You hate vacation, though. Well, I'm, I like them now that I'm a multi-billionaire. Yeah, I know. 
Oh, I'm going to Seattle and shit for a week. Maybe we could do a vacation. Hey, here, there's something calling. Toss salad. Yeah. And scramble I'm going day. on the Fraser. I'm sucking uh, the dick. I'm going on the Fraser tour, dude. What are you doing in Seattle? Uh, George is over there. My bi- my buddy George is over there for a month. Oh, uh, oh, he works for Amazon? Yeah, he's doing some work for Amazon, and I'm going to do a show, actually. I think on the 26th cool. or something. I Maybe that. we can knock out that uh, U- U- Bowl. Uve Bowl. Uve Bowl. Yeah, fuck yeah. How far is Seattle from Vancouver? Not far. Not that bad. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to book like some in Portland. Hours. You guys should just come. We should just do are, a fucking Are there, are there big two one. Vancouvers? There's Vancouver, Washington. Yeah. Which really? is like closer to Portland. There's two Vancouver? There's like there's, it, two there's a Vancouver, what? Washington. That yeah. shit should not be allowed yeah. that close. It's if in you a different wanna, country. Nah, that's too close, bro. There's Portland, Maine, and Portland fucking Oregon. That's fine. Yeah. But Vancouver, the shit's on the same coast. Have you been there's a, two Kansas cities. Missouri and where? In Kansas. In Kansas. But those are next to each other. They're next to each other. What? Yeah. yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, there's yeah. just a there's a border. There's the state line, so they're Oh, the same oh but it's the city. same city. It's different. Oh, okay. It's different than the two Vancouver. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I'll I'll allow that. Um but have you guys been to Portland before? No. Despicable. I'm going for a few there's days. There's a great evil that goes on. You don't there. like Portland? I don't get it. I feel like me and George are gonna go for I'm gonna try and book something. There's in probably Portland people too. that are very proud to be from the Kansas version of Kansas City. Yeah, I think oh, the yeah. Kansas version of the Kansas City KCKS, is KCKS, nice. bro. I guess that's the one. KCKS. That's... Didn't they you all know, get... <laughs> you know it. KCKS. That's where, That's me, dude. We keep calm, chive on in the KCKS. <laughs> the only person I know that's from Kansas City, I know of that's from Kansas City, is Tech Nine, the rapper. He's from Kansas City? He's the... He's the the I think maybe the most no isn't Eddie Kansas Griffin City. from Kansas City? How maybe. about this? Kansas shitty. Mm. Oh, and then that pimp in uh, in Rosebud. Yeah. In what do you call it? What's that movie? American Pimp. No, no, no. In uh, Belly. Oh. The, mm. That guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from Kansas City. You've seen American Pimp, right? The Hughes I've, the Brothers documentary. documentary. Yeah, yeah. I haven't. Fucking great movie. It's man. incredible. Yeah. Road names Rosebud. The extra D stands for a double dose of that pimping. <laughs> yeah, it's in one party. He's like showing all these Polaroids off, and he's like, "You see them nails? I sold them nails to Revlon. Revlon want to pay me ten thousand dollars for them, you know? Because all I do is peel money and touch bitches." <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that rules. Magic like Don Juan's book. kid went to high school with my sister, and she'd see him like in the parking lot picking up his kid from school. Really? Yeah. Was Pimp, he flushed Those out? pimps are crazy because it's like the only yeah. skill they have is being incredibly charming. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and doing horrific and things. And beating women. Uh, beating women, but yeah, they're, yeah. Like, they're just. That's how charming, charming they are. Yeah, they're yeah. over. Like, basically, slave... There's uh-huh. charming slave masters, basically. Yeah. But they are, like... They sort and they're of, great salesmen. The, mm-hmm. Their other friends are other pimps, but mainly their friends are women. I mean, not their friends, but the people they they're spend associates. most of their time, time with. Mm-hmm. And they're all, you know, dandies and foppish and have, like, you know, yeah. you know fancy clothes and kind of, like, a kind of a female exterior. Although those are probably like the cool pimps. There's probably just horrible pimps that are just like... Just normal ass guys. <laughs> with guns, you know? Yeah, and dockers. Like, yeah. Just fucking, we'll just beat you and shit. I remember wanting to be a pimp real bad when I was in like fourth grade. <laughs> 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 just fat ass little Nick trying to pimping, do yeah. some pimping. I wasn't fat yet, but... Oh, okay. Bowl cut though? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted to be a, like a pimp. Sweatsuits. Like a guy that was running running bitches or like yeah, a guy yeah, yeah. that was like got a lot of pussy. No, no. Like so- selling women for money. For Did money. you know that and that's what it was? Pistol whipping yes, or was it just like... I, I thought remember it was just a guy that got a little pussy. No, no, no. no. I yeah, knew a what cool it was. guy. A cool yeah, guy. Cool no, guy. I knew exactly what a pimp was. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know what a pimp was in fourth grade? I, mean, I knew a lot of shit back then. I, I mean, I remember right. I wanted to be like a, a pimp or a hitman. Those were the oh, two things yeah. I thought would be like mm-hmm. the coolest things to be. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to be a wrestler back then. Yeah. I wanted to be in the WWF. I still want to be a hitman. I would love to kill people for money. A soldier of fortune. You think you could do it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, I got, I got out of the military and I don't That's like, true. I don't know true. what to do with my life yeah. other than. You could re-enlist. Merc Iran people. soon. Nah. Nah. But You're the, over that? The, I mean. My, not for Mr. Cheeto? Because my shit's so classified mm-hmm. that I'm actually banned from returning to the military. Oh my oh, God. shit. Because they'd have to reopen the file. Yeah. And yeah, then but it's the file freedom of information. Deleted. The file is sealed with the yeah. blood of Iraqi children. <laughs> Glued shut, <laughs> the congealed, <laughs> melted down collagen and bone fragments of ten thousand Syrian children. One of the guys that killed Bin Laden, the SEAL Team Six guys, is trans now. Nice, yeah. yeah. 
trying to get some of that good, yeah. good Laden killing pussy. That's cool. the thing is because I mean, you know, their whole thing is about proving how brave they are. Going to another country, facing death, that's not brave. That's for pussies. Mm-hmm. What's really brave is getting your penis Being removed trans. and learning how to shop in the women's section at Marshalls <laughs> at 42 years old. That's the brave. Is so, posting posting a makeup selfie your first time applying mascara. <laughs> As a fifty-two-year-old, Reddit. As a fifty-two-year-old woman, yeah, <laughs> and, and and hoping people aren't cruel. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> oh my god! Stop. <laughs> you look. This is everything. So that this is literally everything. So that's the bravest person that's ever existed. Yeah. The a SEAL, Seal Team, Team Six, Six guy trans person who's now trans. It's yeah. both kinds of brave. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, the only other thing you could do is be well, not, not fat. Is, that is uh, not SEAL Team Dicks anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they call the guys. They still have them. You know? mm-hmm. SEAL Team Dicks? Yeah, they're like a G.I. Jane, but it's about a trans person. So it's like G.I. Crystalistia. <laughs> <laughs> a dumb name. They do, <laughs> they, do love, they do love fun names. Fake yeah. ass. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> does yeah. it feel like more like nerdy people are trans or is yeah, that yeah. just no the for sure yeah that's that's for sure right yeah yeah computer people yeah it's mostly guys that are really into computers that yeah are, you know they're like I, well i guess computers aren't the answer <laughs> <laughs> is there like an overlap with autism and yeah mm-hmm. yeah there yep. is Almost 100% overlapping. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Every autistic person at some point becomes trans. Yeah. That's actually one of the... Directions. That's actually one of the cures mm-hmm. is apparently the autism's in your dick. Yeah, if you drew a Venn diagram mm-hmm. and it's wrote a perfect autism circle. and trains on it, it would still look better than a trans person's breast. <laughs> It would be a two-dimensional drawing That's actually the, I've of seen two some, circles. It would look bad. I got to tell you, I've seen some pretty good trans titties. <laughs> yeah. You, you know? met, what's her name? Bailey J. And she looked like hot as fuck. Yeah, hottest yeah. woman I've ever, one of the hottest women I've ever met in I, my life. Really? I mean, yeah. come, come I'm on. not kidding, bro. Come on, dude. Check it out without, check, I know I've never Billy been in the J. same room as Billy like, J is not, and uh, this isn't like, I mean, I've seen a track. She's hot, dude. Not even in the top, like, five hottest trans people I've seen. Oh. I've seen plenty of trans women that's like, oh, in yeah, the same that's a room? Hot... In the same room? I'm saying I met her, and I was like, damn, this is a hot-ass lady. No, I haven't been in the same room, but I mean, like, in terms of facial structure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. look. I don't want to be rude to Bailey J. I think but... you're being very rude to my friend Bailey J. But not in the top. She was hot as shit, Top bro. five? I would say so. She has big-ass titties now. I think they're even bigger. Sure. So mm-hmm. who's your top five trans people? Oh, I don't know. Just Liam ones I've from seen. Instagram. Yeah, Liam. <laughs> is Liam trans now? <laughs> he just sends us pictures of his ass and says, "Is this better than Dasha?" Yeah, I, I yeah. He, he's into wearing tights now and showing everyone his. Should tights. we fuck him? Yeah, I guess he's coming well, he's on. He's coming, coming to do the podcast, the podcast, but Dasha is he? Yeah. <laughs> Dasha is not allowing him in the apartment. So we're gonna have to do it somewhere else. Why is he not allowed in the apartment? She, she he said too many inappropriate things to her. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. She said, Liam's banned from the apartment. Liam, you're banned, but we'll do we're, it out on the. We're doing. Street. We're doing. Uh, we're doing it in the uh, locker room of the David Barton gym. <laughs> yeah. Where <laughs> Liam will be spending the why the reason he's traveling to New York <laughs> is to yeah we'll do explore in, the 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 deep caverns of the David Barton gym <laughs> locker room. We'll do it at a men's. Did we do a joke about how the Village. David Barton gym is just one bench and a squat rack and then 35 floors of locker rooms? <laughs> 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 the seven seven floors. The showers, and just, you get deeper, oh, just a deeper, lot of showers. Just the house music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, the steam is so thick you can't see in front of your yeah. face. It's just hands and dicks and it's vaporized it's, cum. It's yeah. not even steam. <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> they just pour cum into a fog machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they pour it on hot coals. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they, yeah, they have like a spoon and they like dollop it yeah. off the hot coals. And then it like sizzles anyways, but they still have a gay guy there to make the sound effects. <laughs> 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 okay, so we've now now this this pre, the precedent is getting tough. Now we're letting guys on gay sex vacations, yeah, come on the podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, I mean, I, whatever. I yeah, let, we've already let two insane women come on the show. That's true. I think that girl uh, Kelly was pretty normal. She seemed normal, but yeah. I mean, you got to be pretty crazy. I mean, to listen to the show. To if you're a, a normal, to nice choo choo over to New York yeah, yeah, to do yeah. come town. Yeah. If you're a normal, nice woman who listens to the show, there's probably you something don't wrong go with on. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like most of the women that I meet that listen to come town are all pretty normal and impressive. 
Impressive. impressive. Yeah, they all have like real jobs and shit. I'm so impressed by women. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not impressed by I women. I guess he's at trying all. to suck up. I'm suck not saying that. It's suck just... up to some titties, which yeah, is right. actually what I'm trying to do. I don't do. think I've Me ever too. met a, a woman that. <laughs> What's her name? Gerby never listened to Come Town. She just mm. wanted to do it because she heard about it on Twitter. What's going on with her? She's insane fully now. Yeah, but I've known, she got a divorce, I've known Gerby on Twitter for years, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, we've been mutuals. Twitter bros. Mutuals for a long time. Never in the same group DMs. See, that's a whole part of Twitter I don't understand. I'm only in I don't one get group into, DMs. I don't get into DMs. It's about sports. Everyone seems to DM each other. Yeah. yeah. I'm just out there, you know. Well, t- you didn't have, like, you weren't a Twitter, you didn't have a Twitter following until this show. Yeah, exactly. I know, but Adam's over like there a, in DMs. You weren't like a Twitter guy. I'm yeah. in one DM of where people talk about sports, mm. but I, I reject every other one. Nice. Because it's just, it seems like a waste of time. I just don't get it. I used to be in so many DMs. Yeah, yeah I, I did you understand that. You were in a that. girls' DM. Oh, yeah, I was in girls' chat. That's pretty nice. cool. <laughs> Shout out to girls' chat. Nice. Is it still popping off? Yeah, it was pretty funny. They would just post naked pictures of themselves to each other, and then I was just in there. That's pretty cool. I'll yeah. be in girls' chat. File, save. Invite, stop. <laughs> C slash windows slash blackmail. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I don't fucking understand the internet, man. I still, I still, I'm scared by it still. Yeah, but whatever. What are you scared of? I think it's cool. Amazon.com. You could be, in, you could be in girls' chat stuff. I'll, I guess I'd be. They'd be it, receptive if, to you if, being if, in girls' chat. If it involves if, if anyone from girls' chat is listening, add Stavros to the girls' chat. Team. Yeah, give him a day at least. Yeah, twenty four hours. But also, yeah, in that and do day, do it on a titty day. Yeah, exactly. Make it be, a, make it be titty. titty it was so day. funny because there'd be like girls' chat, and then there would be a second chat that was like. Girls chat minus one of the girls. <laughs> they can talk shit. Yeah, they, yeah they just say, but then there was like four different versions of, of that course, for of each course. one of the girls. See, that's what I'm talking about. I that's feel like too the, much. most of the DMs are just sh- to talk shit. Oh yeah, they yeah. all hate each other. All yeah. of these people don't have social skills, so they just so fucking, they're friends with people from online. Yeah, they just yeah. have like you know these vendettas against each other. Mm-hmm. I hate yeah, that. That there's sounds scary. There's just constant drama going on. Yeah, I but it's just... crazy. Is that it's like drama with people like that live three thousand miles away, right? That you meet like when you go on your yeah. stupid Twitter meetup. Oh. That was like a nice time of the internet. Was like five years ago when it was people complaining about people in their real lives. Yeah, it was like I, I'm sick of no. Fake. I mean, because the internet was always I like. Like I remember, Twitter like, used to be about like, like yeah, like people Live put... Journal was where it started. Yeah. It's like there's all these communities on Live Journal, and people would document and hate on you know. Certain people on Live Journal for being yeah. dramatic or losers. Or I was never in that world. I was just trying to watch porn. Yeah. Well, you could Same with Stav. Really. I could, yeah, I couldn't even get porn, dude. I would just print out pictures of uh, Trish Stratus from the wrestling and beat <laughs> off to her in like a bikini. <laughs> yeah, I remember when Sable. Uh, oh, that was, big, more, that was a yeah. big moment. The picture with her titties with like. Yeah. With like p- p- hand prints on her titties. I still remember she had a belly button ring that was a hoop. And I thought that That's was pretty weird. cool. I don't think I'd ever She's seen Brock someone Lesner's with a wife, hoop. right? Sable is what a muskrat. Sable is a, f- a former WWE. No, diva. no, no, no. I mean the animal. Sable is a type of fish. No, it isn't. No, you're no, right. No. Sable is another name for white fish. For smoked really? fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? But yeah. it's a Jew thing. It's nobody a Jew else. Thing. Nobody else. I've calls never heard it. of that. I thought there was some kind of little fur. It's like lox muskrat. They are. Oh. Sable, yeah, yeah, Sables, yeah. Yeah. Sables are like muskrats. It's like sable fur is like a nice, but it's soft. But the Jews think it's a type of fish. Mm. Of course, everything's a type of fish. Interesting too. that they a would, smoked fish. Yeah, <laughs> interesting that they would classify a, a living being as a type of, you know, so. cold blooded. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Doesn't yep. doesn't belong. It's a, mm-hmm. <laughs> trying to push uh, land uh, animals uh, out to sea. Yeah. Uh, what's it there called? There it is. That's what the Jews are. What doing. kind of species? I don't are know. <laughs> what are those called? <laughs> Invasive species. No, yeah. no, hold on. But they're trying to take White something fish. that belongs on land and push it into the uh, sea. That's, yes, <laughs> that's what they're doing with the white fish salad. Is just like Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, Stav is the one who who's looks like Barry Weiss, yeah, dude. So oh yeah, that's you true. Oh, dude, I gotta, true, dude. I look I like Barry Weiss. I gotta see this picture, dude. It's so funny. Hold on. I Shannon, exactly Shannon, get like that her. picture of Stav up on yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, Shannon, Shannon, you fucking bitch. Bro, no joke. Should we get Dasha breast implants and Should we collagen? rape Shannon? <laughs> so Should we let Zach like rape Shannon? Shannon? Bro, look show? at this picture. Yeah. Are you kidding me, dude? Yeah. That bitch looks exactly like me in that it's, angle. It's the same glasses. You're about, first of all, 
She has hair. No, it looks like me in a fucking wig. Come on, look at this picture. That looks. This like angle Scott. is crazy. This that looks, looks crazy. like me in makeup. And it's the same glasses. Yeah, it's just the glasses. And you're both lesbian. Yeah. And we're both. We both love munching that puss. Mm -hmm. You know what you I'm saying? You both like eating box. Oh yeah. 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 You, you, both, you both look like Rosie McDonald's. <laughs> I love Roseanne, dude. Roseanne. Roseanne oh, McDonald's. Yeah. Or did Rosie you see uh, Amber Ruffin's brilliant call out of Roseanne? Who is that? I don't know. She writes for Seth Meyers, I guess. Oh, Roseanne. But she has a Barr. segment, a totally necessary segment, where she just gets mad about stuff. Mm. As like a correspondent? Uh, yes, yeah, so they have her. She's mad at Roseanne because Roseanne's racist or whatever. Well, she is, right? Yeah. I thought she was a conspiracy well, theorist. It's an epi no, not the actual Roseanne. Roseanne on the TV oh, show. Oh, the show. So she had a problem with the episode where Muslims move in next door and Roseanne's initially skeptical of them but then they let Roseanne use their Wi-Fi and then she's like I guess Muslims aren't bad she like protects them from some other racist mm. oh cool and so well, she should never watch like any other like, right. classic sitcom. well she's like she's like that's bullshit because they have to do the work to make Roseanne like them what? or whatever and it's like you're openly admitting that racism is a problem in this world and then you think that that shouldn't be reflected in fiction All how do the you family, think yeah, how do you sorry. think the show is supposed to go it's like you know, the round table, everybody laughing, mm -hmm. harmonica, Dan. Uh, oh, Roseanne, looks like uh, Muslims moved in next door. Oh, That's good. Great. Roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> we have 30-second episode. <laughs> what the fuck is, what, what do you want? All in the Family was on television 40 years ago? Yeah. And that, like, can you, like, I yeah. yeah. Imagine if that was on now. Well, I just don't understand how you could be, like, a television writer and not understand the characters are supposed to have flaws and conflict. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's... Every that character on every show should think exactly the way mm -hmm. I do and should reflect my values and reinforce them. That sounds like a pretty traditional fucking sitcom, like, like That someone's plot. old... Like sure, old right. person yeah. is old school. I'm not saying it's particularly really inspired. Or, yeah. or like, also, there's a 30 Rock episode where Liz gets someone deported. Yeah. <laughs> because she thinks he's a fucking terrorist. And it's way worse than what yeah, we just yeah, fucking yeah. described. Well, no. It's already they've torn down the walls around Roseanne. Started, when, as soon as that show aired, everybody started writing the think pieces about either being conflicted with Roseanne or Roseanne's racist right. or whatever. You know, it's just all this anti-Trump mm -hmm. bullshit. Yeah. So they have to hate Roseanne. They have to find new ways. That, because ultimately, you know what it is? It's not really so much about taking Roseanne down. is that that's a safe thing to hate. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they're able to criticize yeah. it. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I, I mean, it's so funny how quickly we just stopped talking about it. That's the other thing. It's like, no one even gives a fuck about No Roseanne one gives anymore. a shit. It's such no. a fucking unnecessary segment to put together. Is right. This, here's why. Roseanne's bullshit or whatever. Is yeah. it on, like, a different network? Uh, I don't know. Seth Meyers is NBC. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what yeah, Roseanne yeah, like, is. Roseanne NBC NBC I think Roseanne's CBS. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That. You think it's fucking yeah? Dude, you think it's, it's fucking the suits upstairs, <laughs> man? <laughs> it's the Channel Wars. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, although I do think the Seth Meyers show has some pretty good correspondence. Mm -hmm. Like, isn't that the one that has uh, Connor uh, O'Malley? Connor just gets to run Buck Wild over there and shit. Yeah, they let like, him do his thing. Um, Funniest dude. Yeah, but yeah, that's a fucking. I didn't see that segment, but it sounds little dicket as fuck. Well, it's time yeah. we call out Tony Soprano for not ex accepting uh, Meadows' half black boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the complaint there would be like, why do we? Why are we watching a show about a white racist. man? Why, why is the show about a white man criminal go six seasons and people don't immediately recognize him as being bad? If you did that show and it was a black guy that was a criminal, completely ignoring the fact that the wire existed. Yeah. 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 You know, all, you know, he would be killed by the police immediately. Yeah, you know, which is like maybe sure that could be a plot at some point, but you wouldn't do it immediately. It's bad writing. Yeah, right. Well, that's like that is a your job, right. the industry you work in. I mean, I don't get it. I don't. I really don't understand what the fucking criticism of Roseanne is. Yeah, I mean, just the, it's not. These aren't real people acting a certain way. Well, I think it's the criticism story. objecting on it because she's actually in real life like a pizza gator. Sure, but that's not what they said. Right, they said right, the right. problem is with the episode. Yeah, yeah sure, I mean, sure. I yeah, I would actually listen to the argument of like, why the fuck is this dumb bitch Roseanne getting another show? It's just like uh -huh. you know because what I mean? because television is now filled with people right. that think going on TV and complaining to an audience of white people is entertainment with zero fucking punchlines written in it and like references mm -hmm. to pop songs serving as like the comedy <laughs> yeah, yeah. content. <laughs> like I, that's it. That's why Roseanne is back, because the people you've replaced Roseanne with can't produce anything fucking good. Yeah, well, all TV now... It just and the original like, Roseanne was a great show. Sure. Yeah, and it showed working class people, like, on television. Does I suck my penis? Does I suck 
My penis. <laughs> I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna do a show called Racist <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's good. Yeah. What if Cheers actually was in Boston? <laughs> <laughs> Ra- racist Fraser. Ra- racist. Niles. There's yeah, too yeah. many jungle bunnies in this yeah. neighborhood. Of course I voted for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, he, I think he is like a big Trump guy in real life. Kelsey? Kelsey, yeah. Kelsey, yeah. Damn. Niles, stop having anonymous gay sex with Puerto Ricans. Yeah. Oh, but Fraser, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> the dicks. I love this. Dicks that taste like Cezanne. They sleep in the same bed on that show, right? <laughs> Niles yeah. and Fraser do, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they have, they have uh, twin beds pushed uh-huh. together. Yeah. Real close. Their the dad's dad, like boys. The, dad, the dad sleeps in the living room. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, they, the dad sleeps in the bed too. Yeah, no, yeah. the dad's in the chair. You know he what? Pops I was in every once in a while. Remember, like, uh, Roz is the mom. Right? You remember <laughs> yeah. in uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory at the beginning of that movie, where like all the four freaky of his, ass grandparents, his grandparents were in bed together. Just like, what's going fucking? on over there? Oh, yeah. That's I was, what I wanted. I was to laughing today, and that you know in the scene in Titanic when that old couple's going to sleep as the ship's sinking. Yeah, together, but like. So the, the what they don't tell you in that scene is they they're not aware that the ship is sinking because uh-huh. they're just old. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the point of that scene. It's just to point out how stupid old yeah. people are. Ah, uh, fuck, dude. I want to go to sleep with those dumbass little kids on Titanic. You want to go to sleep with dumbass you little s- kids? You want to sleep in, in bed. bed with children? No, so I just want to die. You said? Oh, you wanted to die with, in Titanic. Yeah, with the Irish. Yeah, yeah, listening to their uh, fiddle music. Mm-hmm. That must have been so fucking gay, dude, to die on the Titanic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on a shitty cruise. <laughs> You're fucking underneath the fucking floorboards. Yeah. Dancing your shitty little fucking... Your stupid jigs. Yeah. 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 It fucking sucks. That's the thing we're not supposed to care about, right? The Titanic. Yeah, I guess not. I don't know. Should we care about it? Yeah. I, I think Why people, should get, we? people get mad if you care about the Titanic. Like, mad that people died? Are people or? into it? Uh, no, but like... Why? Like the movie? Yeah, people will still consider it a tragedy. And it's like it's just a boat that sunk a hundred years ago. Right, it was really right, right. big. So what? I mean, that's why it was a big deal, I guess. As long as Billy Zane lived, dude. That's yeah. all that matters. It's not... I mean, it's not even that many people. I guess it was. It was like 1,500 or something? I don't know. You remember the earthquake of Lisbon? When was it happened that? In like the 1600s, I think. It was something like Portugal. Ten. Yeah, it was something like 10,000 people died. What the fuck? <laughs> How? How? It destroyed the entire city. <laughs> Holy killed, fuck! Yeah, it might have killed like 20,000 people. Jesus Christ! Yeah. What happened? It was in a fucking it's huge a big earthquake. ass earthquake. It was a big ass earthquake that just like killed <laughs> all like all of the just city. Just a bunch yeah. of shitty huts and shit. Yeah. No, it's funny because it like it like. Damn. I, what does Portugal in the 1600s even look like? Well, the church they had were to, like, good at sailing. All these, all these like theologians had to explain why God would do something. Yeah, like yeah. That. Ah, it's because uh, <laughs> those guys were holding hands. Yeah, it's because we didn't. Was that when the Inquisition was happening? When that happened in the 1600s? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it did. It's because we didn't kill enough Jews. That's why. Well, that was a different country, but yeah, was it? It's pretty close. Um, Portugal and Spain, they're right there, right? Yeah, they're right next to each <laughs> yeah. other. About they're the, the same the two, two in the pink, one in the stinkquisition. Oh, oh, that's cool. good. Yeah. That's really good. That's when they invented the shocker. Oh, nice. It was the, yeah. the Holy was, Roman Empire. That's Spain they, was like Muslim. That's how they before. attached Jesus to the cross. That's the Holy Trinity. Yeah. The God, God and Jesus are the two fingers, the and the Father, Holy Spirit is in the, the ass. Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, Father, for I have fucked ass. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to have a Jesus phase. Shut no, up. No, you're not. Shut up. It's cool to, like, <laughs> be it. No, be quiet. Cool. Just stop. <laughs> Bob Just Dylan did it. Did he? Yeah, he had a whole Jesus That's thing. so yeah. fucking stupid. I love Jesus. Yeah, you remember that song? It's Jesus. cool. Oh, yeah. Going to church is a gay. Loves having out. sex with Jesus. <laughs> yes. He had like a whole <laughs> carnival kind of Jesus. Bob I love communion. Bob Dylan sucks, dude. Yeah, he does. Bob agree. Dylan fucking sucks. I love having sex with men. Bob Dylan's music for people who want to think they're good at guitar. He's not good at guitar. I know. He's good at people, songwriting. People play and Bob Dylan songs. So he's like bright eyes. Oh, yeah, he's I mean, not good at singing or. He's not guitar. good at singing. He's not good at songwriting. He's not good at he's looking, old. having a face. I think yeah. he looked. He looked cool. No, he did. No, he looked fucked up. I don't know. I think he looked all right. He probably did get a lot of pussy. I though. do think that Leonard Cohen was way better than The first time I, the first time I ever saw somebody Dylan. wearing Ray Bans, like probably like 2002 or three. Yeah. This guy was like. 
Yo, these are actually the sunglasses Bob Dylan had. Jesus Christ. He's like bragging about having Bob Dylan uh, sunglasses. At the like Lorimer like Metropolitan like <laughs> train station, there's always like that guy that just got to New York and he's like, I just left my shitty hometown. I'm gonna like busk and like work my way up in the yeah. New York City folk scene. So like, busking legal. Busting illegal. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, See that, folks? See the difference a letter makes? And here's the thing. I I, I don't mind seeing a homeless man's penis. Mm -hmm. I do mind seeing a ukulele. (laughs) That's true. If I had to pick one, no joke, I would rather just look at a guy's dick real quick than listen to him. If you're going to be in public and service of yourself, I would Mm -hmm. much rather just be you coming into a big gulp Mm -hmm. than whatever the fuck is, you know... That Russian guy with the weird the bell thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy's uh, at uh, Bedford Ave. And yeah. then that little Chinese kid that, whose parents will hit him if he fucks oh, yeah. up. I call him homework. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which <laughs> Chinese kid? There's a little Chinese kid. What that, does like, he do? He plays piano. He's, like, good as hell. And if he yeah. fucks up, he gets a stern look from his dad. Yeah, his dad. What a fucking loser. His dad's got a bamboo switch that <laughs> yeah. runs across the kid's eyelids to make him even more Chinese. <laughs> He's got to fucking stand up for himself. Father, please, I'm already too Chinese. Wong, <laughs> <laughs> uh, please do not, do not make your eyes, your son's eyes even more swollen. <laughs> I I give birth to him. It was very hard. If you guys had to do any kind of street performance, what would uh-huh. you do? Yeah. What um, do you think it would be? I would uh, just, you know, t- put that boy pussy on the stroll. Mm-hmm. Put, start clapping your cheeks together. Yep. Show time. Show time. Heavy, show me- time, heavy show metal time. show time. Heavy metal show time. <laughs> <laughs> just me and Blake Midget. <laughs> just listening to Pantera yeah. and yeah, doing yeah. whole dance. Cowboys from hell. <laughs> 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 yeah. Just upside down like a stripper. <laughs> Do people people that... Headbutting people and yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Do people that don't live in New York know what Showtime is? Yeah, but through social media and then they're like... They, cause I, I had a friend that was like... There was some article about how the NYPD is trying to shut down Showtime. And some mm-hmm. guy who doesn't live here has never been here. He's like, like, this is fucking fucked up. That they would excellence. get rid of something so beautiful. And it's like, no, they it's kick annoying. people in the yeah. face I got the kicked by time. Showtime once. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was with Sarah. <laughs> and they don't apologize. No, they didn't fucking apologize. It was yeah. very obnoxious. Well, you don't command respect. Yeah. I, the guy was twirling around on a I'm one of on those. Pole. I'm one of those white guys that sits there going, mm-hmm. I hope they kick me. <laughs> You put your legs out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. You, uh, you're about to, you're about to catch a little Michael Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> about to fall down on his ass. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, yeah. I can't wait to make a citizen's arrest. Yeah, for right. Dancing while black. A citizen's rape. <laughs> <laughs> it is I my right as a, a sovereign citizen. citizen. Yeah, yeah. A citizen's Shut gay the rape. Fuck up, I see. Mm-hmm. And I'm proud to be just violently raping another man on the train <laughs> from sea to shining sea. <laughs> That's right. Uh, shut up, yo, yo. Let me put her away. No, nah, hold on. We don't have much Fuck time left in the episode. Just, just let her. Why chill. is she so mad? Let her dude. bark into the microphone. Why is this I, fucking? She wants bitch to talk. Up? Say some. Say some. Say some, you dumb Say bitch. Say oh, some. now you're fucking. Now you're fucking, fucking shy. stage fright, stupid ass yeah. bitch. <laughs> I got you out of the garbage. <laughs> you should put a little vest and a Dom DeLuise hat on her. That would be cute. I want to get her a bell so she looks like a cow. Yeah. Ooh, that would be nice. She's already got the udders. Yeah. I. You know what? I'm starting to want a dog. I never thought I'd be a person that it's, wants a dog. Honestly, Do Puerto Ricans like pit bulls because they got big nipples like that. Yep. Because <laughs> they got Puerto. They Rican got the same nipples. Got, they, yeah, they got the fucking. <laughs> they got those big ass yeah. nipples. Oh my god, I love how his nipple look like mine. <laughs> Icy's ass does look kind of thick, like a like kind of culo kind of mm-hmm. action. Yeah. Little culo. Yeah, she's got a nice thick. thick it's funny. It's culo and then colo. <laughs> it was Greek. so funny when Evan was here and he's like, "Dude, I'm gonna get a dog. It's gonna be the buffest fucking dog." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a dog that's yeah, as buff as it's him. Like the beginning of uh, 101 Dalmatians, where all the people that look like their dogs go by. Oh yeah. hell yeah, dude! I fucked my titties. Speaking of being buff, I fucked my titties up just getting too shredded. Yeah, what Did were you, you doing? Bench? Bench? I went to Gold yesterday. I loved. Oh, I, I want to go. DC, I want to join Philly? like a. In like a bodybuilding gym. Oh, getting nice. the bodybuilding. Don't you already do bodybuilding? I don't do bodybuilding. What so do what you, you want? Do just like general strength training. So that's bodybuilding is like a five day split. You have like a fucking back buys day, chest day. Oh, and that you work on different tries. groups. Yeah, and then you do like three exercises per muscle or muscle group yeah. or whatever. What's that gonna do? For, like, how are you gonna feel? You get bigger. Yeah. That's yeah. It's like all like you know. 
I just want to have big ass arms, bro. Yeah, I only kind of do training to get stronger. Oh, you just you care about the go Low reps, high the intensity. go, not the show, right? Yeah, you're I want, trying to I be want for the show. show not for I'm go. trying now. I'm trying to be for show. I want to. Then be I'll for go show. back to go. You go show, go show, go. Show, I want go. big arms and a big ass round ass. <laughs> <laughs> just a big <laughs> yeah. fat. You do have you juicy. do have like kind of a disappointing ass for your size. I have a pretty good ass, thank you very much. I mean, it's a big ass, but compared to the rest of you, it's you kind of have Hank Hill ass. I do not have Hank Hill it's ass. I have a pancake-y, juicy ass. But it's not like... Yeah, you kind of have a flat ass. For it is not flat. It, it is, is a nice ass. I mean, we've all seen it. I know. Yeah. yeah. It's and not, you're, you're it's, disparaging me right now in front of look, our listeners. Yeah, no, your ass looks all right. Thanks, man. If anything, the problem is... What you should get is a top hat or like a little bowler hat. That'd no. Be cool. That would be cool. It would. A little bowler cap. Would that make cap? my ass look better? Yeah, a little <laughs> a, a skew bowler cap to yeah. go with the mustache. Or I like that. <laughs> one, of those, uh, one of those bow ties, those yeah. sequence bow ties on a string. No, you need to look like one of the dogs playing poker. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. basically there, bro. Here's the thing, though. I do have a good ass. Look, Let's I'm go a- to that. We're going to the hat store in Williamsburg, Williamsburg? tomorrow. Because we the didn't go with Stop. Yeah, 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 we got to go okay. back. We do, do, do a really, yearly hat trip. I want a Stetson, dude. I want a straight up. You would look hat. so fucking gay, dude. No, I <laughs> you would look cool. so gay. Yeah. I want to. I want to wear a, a. No, Joe I'm List has that joke about like. I want to uh, be an urban cowboy. Dude. Be, Joe like, List has that. Trying to look like. I mean, the best you could hope for is like Terrence Malick, and already looks gay in that picture. Mm-hmm. Terrence Malick. Yeah, yeah. You I know guess. that that hat picture with him in it. But you. But would, no, that's more of like a. No, you're gonna look like you're gonna look like Richard Stanley or fucking. Uh, that's also like a leather hat too. Yeah, you should get a leather hat, hat, dude. You're gonna look I like, like a, a more of like a felty kind. You're of gonna know? look like the the kid that was too gay to worry about him shooting up the school, but he's got the clothes for it. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking duster and a cowboy hat. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna get. I think I am gonna get little hats though, little fucking little dad hats, and little then small hats, and then also uh, big. I want a big ass floppy ass fisherman's mm. shit. Yeah, hat. Is that what they're called? The bucket hats, fisherman's hats. Oh, like the Zorba the Greek kind of. I want, yes. I want yeah, that yeah. big newsy cap from the Sting that that Hooper has. That uh-huh. would work for you, actually. Hooper has. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of like a half beret, half newsy. Well, that cap. big, yeah, the yeah, big flop, big, yeah, 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 flop yeah, yeah. That, that has a little flop to it. Uh huh. You yeah. wear it with a big short tie. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. cool. Yeah. The scam. The people. fat knot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a cool look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should cool. do a rebrand. Um, I, I would like to. Yeah, <laughs> season two. When I think season West, two. Man, I got some, Western I got some, wear. I, I got think some, might be money. <laughs> I got some Japanese food down on St. Mark's where all the Japanese guys hang out. Mm-hmm. Coolest people in the world. Yeah, you know who the are. Japanese are. Remember oh, that absolutely. time we saw that those that Japanese guy dressed, dressed like, like a Jew, <laughs> dressed like a fucking uh, rabbi. Yeah, he had was his, he had seat seat. He had like the strings. He had the strings. He had the yeah. whole outfit, and he just did it as fashion. And he was like a fashion choice. What? Yeah, he like was eating Jew. like tonkatsu. He was yeah. eating like pork. He, he was really? Yeah, yeah it's just some Japanese guy that, that was, rules. Like, that was cool. just his thing. Yeah, they have they have cool. easily the worst facial hair patterns, and somehow like make it look cool. It looks great. It makes me yeah. wish that I had like just hor- horrifically you mm-hmm. know yeah. sparse facial. It hair. is cool, isn't it? Yeah, well, they are not really on you. Cool. No, it is. It is cool. I'm no, not the on one you. Thing you that need that you're missing the hat. No, it's cool. You need that. <laughs> the one thing I fully don't trust about them is that they they don't fuck. The Japanese? I think they're incredibly unhorny. No, I think there's like a whole what are you percentage of Japanese people that don't have sex. What the fuck are you talking about? So they like, fuck on trains and shit, and they fuck octopuses. I think that they have... They like, literally invented bukkake. Yeah, yeah, but I think that they're they're not. They're I think modern life has made them not as horny anymore. It's the bomb. There's it, a bunch of incels. the bomb did it. The atomic yeah, it was bomb. The bomb. <laughs> yeah, we made them it's our horny. fault. I feel bad. We I were should scared. go back there and make them horny again. We were scared that little Japanese guys were going to come over here and fuck all our bitches after World War Two. It's true. So the what fallout do do? just killed their nuts. That's the thing. It was a special bomb that made them not horny. Mm. The death was just the Enola Gay. Mm-hmm. You know. Somebody DM'd me. They were like, "Dude, you got to see this. The plane that dropped the bomb on Hiroshima was called, was called Gay. the Enola Gay." <laughs> like you didn't know that, <laughs> right? It's like you fucking you retard. T- yeah, I went to <laughs> elementary school. I didn't know Everyone that. knows that. Yeah. I actually did not know. That's that. on par with like. There's a country called Niger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you didn't know the plane that dropped the? No. You I, didn't know it was called Gay. I did not remember that. No. What was the other one? Boxcar. Or boxcar was the call sign. It was boxcar, right? 
What about, about Fat Boy? Plane? Wasn't some something, something was called Fat Boy? No one the cares. bombs were called Fat Boy. Fat Boy, Fat Boy, and Little Little Boy and Fat Man. Yes, the bombs. yes. Mm-hmm. Those are my di- those are my nuts. Little Boy and Fat Man. Yeah. My left one is Little Boy. My right one is Fat Man. And then Fat Man was Nagasaki, and Little Boy was Hiroshima. I think. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I just know anytime fat a fat man is you know represented in history, I have to know. You kind of look like that, Bob. <laughs> Strong and powerful. <laughs> this round. The ability to fucking end the life of it's thousands. A round shape. If I wanted to. Getting dropped skirt. onto just a city. Wearing a skirt. <laughs> just, wait, it wasn't wearing <laughs> a skirt. <laughs> I was skirted, a, round shape. Just a weapon of That'd be a good look for you, dude. Grass skirt, skirt. coconut bra. That would be a good look for yeah. me, actually. I think you Trans should get into blue. that. Yeah. <laughs> That's regular blue, dude. No. Yeah, it's just him. And that's his just him. He's gender non conforming. He's trying dude. to trick King Louis into thinking he's cool, so you could steal fire or get Mowgli back. I can't remember what happens in mm. that scene. That's right. Was King Louis a tiger? That King is the Louis best. Is an orangutan, dumbass. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Shere Khan is the tiger. Shere Khan is the tiger. <laughs> Fucking oh, my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I love in cartoons when it's like it's either it's like Bugs Bunny or it's just like it's a clearly male character just putting lipstick on and then yeah. the villain is horny as fuck for them. <laughs> yeah. That shit fucking rocks, dude. Yeah. Like King Willie would have fucked Baloo probably mm-hmm. in a skirt. Uh huh. You yeah. know? Yeah, like Elmer just goes to show had you to get so gender, emasculated. Gender I, remember, just, I remember this girl you know? I was opening for Patrice when I was like 20 or something and I invited uh-huh. this girl I was like was he know, scary? starting to be impressive you know I was like yeah yeah I'm actually opening for Patrice she's like who's Patrice right she like didn't know you him. forget mm-hmm. that and I'm like no one else gives I was like yeah I was like no I was like oh, he's actually like a he's like a really good comic the best. and then she googles him and then like texts me back or like you know mm-hmm. aim or whatever it was and she goes he looks like Baloo <laughs> 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 was he nice yeah. Yeah, he was nice. Nice I enough. Like I mean, he's so like, scary. He, nah, he was nice, but he'd be mean. He was nice. I, I got off stage and he said good, the good, sad, funny stuff, and then like that was the end of us talking about comedy. Oh, right. right. And then you know he was nice, but where yeah. was this? In Austin. Oh, in Austin. In Austin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like from listening to like old O and A and stuff, he'd be like the he'd be like a fucking killer. Like oh would yeah, be like in the circle. He would with definitely him. be scary. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, all those guys are just great destroyed. at just think, ripping your soul yeah, out. Yeah, Bryson told me a story about, like, opening for him, and then was like, yeah, if I could get feedback or whatever, and Patrice was like, here's everything wrong that you're doing. Really? Yeah. When he was and just he right. Wrecked him. Uh, probably. I mean, yeah. I don't remember what the feedback was, but... Damn. Uh, yeah, I think Bryson told That's me. awesome that he just had it ready to go. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, well, because me and Bryson used both used to, like, idolize Patrice. Of course, yeah. yeah. I, Elephant in the Room is, like... It might be so my favorite good. fucking special. Yeah. There's just so some good. of those jokes not, not only with because me. you relate to the title. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that is a good phrase that I use sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Your first album should be Elephant in the Room too. Yeah. Why? You know, it's, it's an just, homage. Yeah, a, a homage. Um, <laughs> no, it's going to be called Butt the Breakfast. <laughs> no, nah, I probably And won't. I'm going to stay hard the whole time. But that's a good... Breakfast. That's another good punchline. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to stay hard the whole time. But the breakfast. But the breakfast. Avocados is weird. Oh, 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 the ways. <laughs> I bet I, I could disappoint her sexually. <laughs> All right, motherfuckers. That's we're going to stop doing this. It's so funny how, uh, how, it's so mean. how upsetting it is to people to it's hear so their own mean. punchlines. Yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> out of context. <laughs> just out of context, yeah. It really Forget means, everything you know about Big Dick uh, Hitler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, well, I, I like that one. That one doesn't yeah. bother me. Hmm. Because um, yeah, that, that, that stands by itself. Forget everything you knew about Big Dick Hitler. Yeah, yeah. That's a good line. It is a good line. But the breakfast is good, too. Yeah. Now stop gets, like, uh, people, like, shouted out, like, yeah. on the road. It's, yeah, so if you, guys want, if you guys want other things to shout out, try... Uh, no, no, the no, no stop. <laughs> stop this. Stop <laughs> fucking saying my punchline. I'm going to stay hard the whole time. <laughs> uh... Man. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude, but Adam doesn't have punchlines. <laughs> Otherwise, I would do him. It's true. Yeah, that's my secret. Yeah. Um, I, I did sex. <laughs> I did a sex. Yeah, then uh, you do change the words you get a laugh on mm-hmm. too often. Yeah, it's not a good thing. No. You're supposed to have beats and. Yeah. You know. Somebody sent me a link to comedian Matt Reif shares his stories of his start in comedy. Oh, oh 
Oh, is he still yeah. around? It's a video. He fucked I like Brandon canceled he fucked him. Like, uh, Kate Beckinsale. Kate yeah. Beckinsale. Comedian Matt Rive is all Just over MTV like these days. He's been on Wild and Out. Are you playing two videos at the same time? No. TRL, and he's even competed yeah, yeah. alongside no, Olympian no, he's, Sean Johnson. He's in the background of the talking. Video. Somebody's talking over. Matt is here with us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Oh, man, thank right you so much early. for having me. Yeah. Very early. Very. <laughs> but you're used to it, though, right? You get up early. Time. Absolutely. It's so man. funny how much more like charismatic and how much more presence he has than like 90% of comedians. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny. It's so fucking annoying when there's a comic like that uh-huh. that's like just smiling and confident on and the handsome. camera. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, comedians forget that it's like we're supposed to be in show business. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be entertainment. You can't just be funny for like the seven minutes at a time you're on stage. Yeah. You have to actually like people want to be around. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anytime I have to be on camera, it's just like very apparent I have no control over my face. Uh-huh. <laughs> Half the time I don't know where I am. I still don't know what to do with people my People will ask me a direct question and I'll be like, right, right. <laughs> 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 I mean, you guys t- hold the mic stand, like put your hand on the top of the mic. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. I don't know what to do with my hands, depending on the vibes. Fun interactions, make it worthwhile. <laughs> we'll make it work today. You're so awesome. Absolutely. So 22 years old, but mm. you've been doing stand-up comedy for some time now. Yeah, I, uh, I started when I was 15 years old when I was living uh, in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. Uh, it was just a <laughs> it was, like class clown and stuff like that throughout <laughs> school. I'm and gay. then I kind of discovered who like... Dane Cook and like Dave Chappelle were, sure. and I realized like, oh, that's a profession. Like, it could be kind of cool. It's a little bit more of a payoff than detention every single day. Right. So I tried it out as a hobby, and then things. Must be so nice yeah, I don't know why. I don't know who's why that, this was sent. Who's that comic that was like? He was like a handsome kind of white guy, but his like all his whole act was like. Yeah, fat chicks Colin are Kane. fucking disgusting. Colin Kane. Colin Kane. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I knew, I knew fat, that's who you were gonna yeah, say yeah, as yeah, soon as yeah. you said handsome white guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colin Kane. Yeah, he'd like insult the wait staff. I don't understand. He was I, like just a dick. I don't understand why yeah. that guy got work. The waitress I, would be going by. He's like, yeah, it'd be great if somebody raped this dumb bitch <laughs> in the <laughs> fucking mouth. And it's like, wh- what is this? He was just trying to be edgy, but he wasn't doing it in a funny way. I Did you ever see? Uh-huh. He had like a co- he had a special on, or no, it was Dice. I think we've talked about this before. Dice's Showtime special. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was incredible. And he was one of it. And it's just like people are bombing. Yeah. <laughs> like, and it's like, it's like Colin going Kane up, yeah. and then like, like two, these two weird Come on, twins. man. <laughs> Nobody in your league plays defense. <laughs> you know? That's a great joke. It, I is get a good joke. <laughs> it is a good joke. But you take away <laughs> the rest of it. Wait. So um, I one time I went to his website when I first found out about him. Like I Googled Colin him. Colin Kane. And on his website, it was like the greatest young comedian I have seen. And it was Dennis Miller. That was like his <laughs> testimony <laughs> on like the splash yeah. page of his website. You know, I really like this Colin Kane kid. Because he really sticks it to the faggots and the bitches. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Chachi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, babe, listen. Cool, babe. Okay, babe. <laughs> babe, babe, cool, babe. Okay. This chick. You want to know what, babe? Listen, babe, cool, babe. Yeah, it was like the Peloponnesian War, babe. <laughs> yeah. You can just uh, like hit the random article on Wikipedia and yeah. generate one half of a Dennis Miller joke <laughs> and then do it again and then it's a punchline. Yeah, it's sort of like uh, Hannibal, babe. It's so cool, uh, uh, Constantinople. <laughs> Just crossing the Alps, babe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he used to do Monday Night Football, and it was so it was bad. so weird. <laughs> it was so I, I, It didn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> he was so bad at it. They were like, yo, let's get a comedian in there who doesn't know shit about football. Who just does old references. Yeah. yeah. I would love to. I would. I want to transition doing comedy into calling golf. <laughs> golf? Do you <laughs> like <laughs> golf? Uh, I've have no idea. How have you ever played golf? It's I've played really nice. once or twice in my life. It's fun. No, it doesn't sound fun. Dude. I like golf. Um, no, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, what is there? Twenty holes? Nineteen? Nope. Eighteen? 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 Yeah. I, There's I the be, back nine and the front nine. I would mm-hmm. be great at that. Next, coming up next to the uh, stand, we got a. Uh, uh, on the mound, we got a black man. <laughs> Maybe possibly mixed race. We've been hearing a lot about this guy over the last 25 years. <laughs> this is Tiger Woods. You're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he might be some sort of Maori. Do you yeah. know some another guy, guy that plays golf do, except Tiger Woods? Uh, Jack Nicholson. That's Phil. Yes. Jack Phil. Nicholson. Yeah. Jack yeah. Nicholson Phil, Phil Mickelson, I think. No, it's Jack, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Tom Arnold. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's a lemonade company and he mm-hmm. plays golf. Mm-hmm. You know? yeah. <laughs> That's really all you need to know. Yeah, yeah. Tom Arnold, well, Jack Nicholson. Well, 
Fuck Reminds yeah. me of a story oh, I heard about. Uh, uh, oh, Rory, Rory Scovel. Rory, yeah, Rory, Rory Scovel. Rory Scovel. He loves golf. Yeah, popular yeah. golf player. Uh, um, Connor McPatrick. <laughs> Norm McDonald loves yeah. golf. Um, uh, who's the? I most? think there's a guy named Beef. Actually, yeah. his first name's Beef. Beef. Beef Stallbladder. Oh no, <laughs> you're talking about uh, the world's fattest golf Bubba. <laughs> no, no, I know Bubba too, but I think there's Bubba a guy Watson. named Beef. Yeah. Beef. Ch- chip yeah. ham fingers. The best one is the best one is that guy John Daly who just smokes mad cigs and he like yeah, yeah. That guy, drinks that like like a hundred diet cokes a day. He does. Um, he's fat as shit. I think he every time the, at the Masters day. he does like uh, shows the or, Masters. He watches the Masters at a Hooters in Georgia. John, <laughs> John, I think it's interesting that the the game is called the Masters, but we have many people here uh, who are black. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Uh, the uh, masses. Yes, Nick, that is uh, <laughs> interesting. Well, you know, he's been playing with a with a handicap all season long, so well, we're, it'll be interesting to see. What does that mean, handicap? Because his legs look like they're working to me. You know what I'm saying? Is he mentally retarded, or yeah. is that, do you mean his race? <laughs> nope. No, I don't... Uh, I don't mean his race. You know, he's got a very interesting stroke. Stroke, what is that? Because... Jacking on because he's got sickle cell anemia. Oh, he's a black good. guy. <laughs> he's gonna have a stroke. Is that what you're saying? Is that what we're saying here? Um, yeah, that's good. You can transition to that. Yeah, I just want to be a restaurateur, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you want to have your surf and turf restaurant, and I want to have an advice column. No, it's, it's, it's gonna have a series of Bugaboo Creek franchises. Bugaboo Creek. It's like a theme restaurant where I've it's never heard like of that animatronic like a moose. Oh, uh, nice. Head. Have you been a Bugaboo? Isn't Bugaboo trim, a racist term? term? I've never been a. Uh, yes, Bugaboo is. Yeah. No, you're thinking of Jigaboo. That's Jigaboo. Right. Bugaboo, Bugaboo is, is something that song. bothers you. Uh yes. Yeah, Bugaboo is that song by like what was it TLC? T- mm-hmm. uh, no, Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Salt and pepper. Which one was salt? Uh, the light skinned one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dark salt and pepper. <laughs> um <clears throat> so, uh, uh, my hard dick and put it in your ass. Ah, I'm gay. Domo origato. Suck my dick. Ah, yeah. I'm gay. Ah, oh, I guess somebody dick. asked us to talk about uh Sandra Bullock having Four skin cells injected into her face. Whoa, for real? As yeah. like Botox? That yeah. fucking bitch. She's getting baby dicks from wow. Korea. Wow. Are you kidding? From Korea? Yeah. From Korea. Oh, no. Whoa. From the smallest rabbis? kind. Somebody asked us to talk about it, so I'll say this. Sandra Bullock? How about Sandra Bullshit? You know what I'm saying? Oh. You're canceled. That. Miss Congeniality? More like Miss Cock. Come suck my tiny dicky <laughs> out. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, you fucking hell. What else is she in? Speed? How about sp- I speed my pants <laughs> looking at how stupid you are? What about the heat? What about the meat? Yeah. My yeah. dick meat uh, that the, you can suck. What is she? Is the she blind the, side? Is she in the lake house? Oh, the blind side? How about the... Uh, the, the back side? The bl- uh, Let me fuck your ass. The... Um, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the blind ride because mm. you're gonna be blindfolded and taken out to a barn where you're savagely sexually assaulted <laughs> oh, uh, oh, by maybe. animals that by not direct, humans that animals. Is a oh, okay, threat, so yeah. it's not a direct threat. No, <laughs> I think that counts. What are you gonna do, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? <laughs> can you arrest a chimpanzee for rape? <laughs> They're like, yes, oh, that's, that's why we're on trial. Ooh, what if you train chimpanzees to rape? Then no. you would be raping. Yeah, you wouldn't be doing it. And in fact, that's it's almost the perfect crime. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea. <laughs> you have a team of chimpanzees <laughs> that know how to rape. <laughs> that's good. The chief of police is like. We are, we have tried time and time again. There is no law he is actually breaking. <laughs> There's nothing we can charge him with. <laughs> I mean, I guess they. That'd kill be the greatest supervillain is the guy that just figures out ways <laughs> to make yeah. chimpanzees. No, they thing. just find different ways to not technically break any law, yeah, but yeah, yeah. cause chaos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. The chaoser, <laughs> the alienist. <laughs> Um, 
You'd probably lose every chimp, though. They'd probably kill yeah. every chimp. What is that they show? The, the Alienist is a guy that can read minds or something? No, he does no, it's crimes. Like a detective. Like he's olden a detective? days crimes. Okay, so how about the illegal Alienist? <laughs> okay. Oh. And yeah. he's like... Hey, have you seen my top bag? <laughs> I do not know who the Jack the Reaper is, mm-hmm. but maybe it's because um, the, like a lot of people don't know like prostitutes, so they say, what you call it, a copycat killer? <laughs> and like, once again, the illegal alien has solved it. He's the greatest TBS, criminologist. Very funny. <laughs> I guess it's on the Superstation, huh? It, no, it's uh, is that it's TBS? on TNT. They play the ads oh, during the, the NBA TNT. playoffs. Is TBS the Superstation? It was. T- T- now it's T- very funny. No, T- the Superstation. The Superstation was was TST? TBS. T- that was TBS. The Superstation. No, it TSS. It used to be the Superstation. TNT was the Superstation. No, TNT was Dynamite. We know <laughs> drama. T- was anything called TST or no? No, the, the testicles <laughs> network. I'm sorry, TSS. There was the Turner Broadcasting. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's that's TBS. what TBS was. Yeah, but maybe now TBS it's... was the Superstation. It maybe. was the Superstation. <laughs> no, nah, I gotta look this up. <laughs> it was. We it can end the up. show once I know once and for all which they one. They used to play Atlanta Braves. Games. They would play nothing but James Bond movies. And mm. Atlanta Braves games. Yeah, my friend had it, and I would go over there, and the Superstation was always on. Would you guys kiss? Movie. No. Yes. We used to do this thing. We would watch TV. And, uh, and hold each when, other's cocks. No, whenever a commercial came on that was for like Barbies or something that was for girls, you had to like, like close your eyes and turn around. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, you're watching it, faggot. <laughs> not, we were like four. <laughs> I mean, it's like you yell at each other for who's a faggot for watching a commercial. Yeah. <laughs> you're watching the Barbie commercial, you fucking faggot. <laughs> yeah, but I'm looking at their tits, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the Barbie's vagina area. <laughs> <laughs> the Superstation. It's the Superstation. Which one is the fucking it's Superstation? TBS. Superstation, or Radio Radio, as it was known in the industry, was set up in 1987 as an overnight sustaining service for independent local radio what? station. Okay, this is a different place. It's TBS. <laughs> I gotta pee. Uh, Piss on this dick, dude. Nope. TBS. That's what I've been saying. Nope. You said... I've been saying that nope. for like five minutes. No, you didn't. <laughs> it, you said something different. <laughs> The Superstation. My dick is a Superstation. Uh, TBS is an American basic cable and set. This is a great way to end the show. Is just reading <laughs> the Wikipedia page for TBS. TBS, very sexy. Why'd they stop being the Superstation? That's intimidating. It is a cool ass. Imagine name. your little fucking bitch ass WB, mm-hmm. and then here comes TBS coming by saying, "Yeah, we're the Superstation." Well, I think they bought Seinfeld in syndication. Know. They just show Seinfeld f- three hours a day, so they're like, "Oh, we're a funny channel now." Yeah. Oh, really? All right. Well, speaking of funny channels, that's the end of the show. Goodbye. Folks. Thanks for uh, being patient <clears throat> and not having a temper tantrum in the comments on uh, Patreon about. Why the episode isn't up, you know? Life gets in the way sometimes. Sometimes you get stuck on a train. And, and we <laughs> also don't want to disparage for the 10 to 15% of you that are listening, the American rail system. We still have a lot of faith in it, but yeah. it was just a human error. Not my job. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Later. Bye. Bye, guys.